Yeah. Ha ha. Milk Nipper said. What is good, YouTube? It's your boy Milk Nipper said coming back with another quick video. And actually, I just wanted to go over. Um, there's some devices that Apple has at least announced in terms of the iOS 13 compatibility. There are some devices that will not be able to get this software. And I think that for, for the most part, the list that I saw, if you have any devices from Apple that you got pretty much in the newest one that you got is in I think a 2013 model. Um, they have a bunch of discontinued devices that they do not support. So, of course, they're not going to release this iOS 13 release that should be happening next week uh, for those older devices. And then I'll go over that right now so you can see exactly what I'm talking about. All right, starting out with the 6th Gen iPod Touch. Uh, unfortunately, yeah, anything beyond that, anything older than that, will not be getting the iOS 13 update. Uh, if I swoop over the original iPad Air, which came out uh, back in 2013, when I'll be getting it. Of course, if you have the iPad Air 2, you will be getting it. Uh, scrolling over again, and we can see that the any iPhone 6, wow, that's crazy. But the iPhone 6 um, will not be getting the iOS 13 update. So if you have an iPhone 6 or older, you are unfortunately out of luck. And finally, to no shock, the iPad Mini 3 and anything older will not be getting the iOS 13 update. Again, I think the iOS 13 update will be a game changer. Um, you'll, you'll notice that there will be external resources available, like your hard drive, being able to use the mouse and that's going to be beneficial for people like me that do have the iPad 9.7 or if you elect to get the 10.2 I'm pretty sure you can't lose there anyway so your boy Milnificent that is the update iOS 13 will be released next week your boy is signing off and I hope you guys have a nice day